Hey guys, Stark with Junkin. Good to see you guys again, even if it is only virtually. Uh, sad that we don't get to finish up the year uh, in person, but still excited that we get to still have some great math education going on for the next couple months. So this will be pretty similar to other videos you'll see from other teachers, just going over how the classroom is going to work with me um, and how you are, are going to submit all your assignments and everything on time. So an agenda here, we're going to do an online learning overview. First off, we're going to have some class details, um, just going over what you're going to see. Second, how to get help. Uh, how can you get help from me when you need it, um, virtually, et cetera. Uh, deadlines, what are you going to need to do to turn it on time to make sure that you're getting your credit and to make sure that you are getting attendance. Uh, D, digital citizenship, just to make sure that we know that we are still in an, a classroom environment, even if it is an online classroom environment. So just going over what that kind of looks like and uh, speaking about that just a few minutes. And then quizzing on Google Classroom. I don't really use virtual stuff that often in my class. Most of the time, you guys are working on paper things or taking notes. Um, but now that we don't really have that, I have to show you how to do quizzes online and do all this stuff virtually. Then we're going to end with an intro to online learning quiz. You can just kind of get the hang of what's, um, what kind of quizzes you'll see, how to submit things, and making sure that you are submitting those on time. Cool. So for the class details, math is on Wednesday and Fridays, Wednesday and Friday. Uh, that means I'll be uploading lessons by 7.30 a.m. on each of those days for you to complete everything at your own pace. Uh, you probably heard this word many times before. It's asynchronous learning. So besides advisory and office hours, everything is at your own pace on your own time. So make sure that you are, you are scheduling time in your day to get everything completed that you need to on time and that you are getting every class done each single day. Uh, everything will be posted on Google Classroom. That is your one-stop shop. Um, everything you should see from this classroom, from other classrooms, everything should be linked through Google Classroom. So if you don't see it in Google Classroom, it is not part of that class. Great. So in general, what you're going to see each time is I'll either make a video or I will use an external site, sometimes using a Khan Academy video if I find that theirs is just as good as what I would have done. So I will either link you in Google Classroom a Khan Academy video or I will make one of my own showing you going through some example problems. Uh, after I show a few example problems, the independent practice will either be some kind of worksheet or um, other problems to work through. Pretty much just worksheets, though, in order to get extra practice on the example problems, uh, the lesson that we were working on that day. After you take some time to do the independent practice, which will generally take you about 30 minutes or so, um, 30 to 45 minutes, there'll be some daily exit ticket or quiz for you to take that day. One, to prove that you were there, part of your attendance, and uh, two, to gauge mastery for me so I can give you feedback and understand what we're getting, what we're not getting, so I can figure out if we need to have any uh, reteaching moments. How to get help. Great. So if you look at my videos and you are still stuck and you really need my attention, my help, from 9.30 to 11.30 on Wednesdays and Fridays, the days that I teach, teach, give you videos to look at. I will be on my computer, either willing to answer questions that you post on Google Classroom, uh, answer questions that you email me, answer questions, etc. I will be online during those times, 9.30 to 11.30 a.m. If it's not between those two times, I may not get back to you right away. So just know, 9.30 to 11.30, that is my guaranteed time for me to get back to you as quickly as possible. Also, just like every other teacher, I will be hosting live office hours on Google Meet every single day that I teach. So again, Wednesdays and Fridays from 2.45 to 3.45. That does start today. You should be seeing this on Friday, April 10th. I will be on this link here, able to answer any questions you may have about the quiz you took today, just to make sure that you understand how to uh, submit those things. So if you're having issues submitting your materials um, show up to Google Meets. Um, 
or if you just want to hang out and chat. I haven't seen you guys in a while. I miss you guys. So if you want to hang out and chat with me about some stuff and catch up, I'll be here on Google Meet from 2.45 to 3.45 p.m. Okay, so all classwork is due by 8 a.m. the morning after class. This is pretty much uh, the same for every single class. Let me move myself down a little bit. Great. So all classwork is due by 8 a.m. the morning after class. This means that your Wednesday classwork will be due at 8 a.m. on Thursday. The funky one is Friday. Um, all your classwork from Friday is not due at 8 a.m. on Saturday. You have the whole weekend. So Friday's work is due at 8 a.m. on Monday. Monday at 8 a.m. for Friday. Uh, you can access your work anytime before, uh, after, or anytime after 7.30 after I post it, and anytime before 8 a.m., hopefully, you know, a little an hour before at least, to complete that work and, and put it at the time that works best for you. We know that you have busy schedules. Some of you are still working. Some of you have family obligations. We understand that. We know that you can't show up exactly to every single class, so we are giving you the flexibility to complete the work whenever works best for you. If you cannot complete work on time, we understand. It's going to be a learning experience for all of us, understanding how to get this asynchronous learning and also live advisories and office hours. So we know there's a lot of, a lot of stuff going on in your head and a lot of stuff going on probably in your lives at home as well. But communication is number one for me and for most teachers. If you know if you suspect that you will not be able to get in your work for that day, your work is how we take attendance. If you are not submitting your work, we cannot give you attendance for that day. So let me know like, hey, I did look at the lesson. I was working on this stuff, but I just have too much work for another class or something. Let me know. I will be able to work with you. Um, we know that it's trying time for lots of people. So just communicate as much as you can. So even though we're not in a physical uh, in a physical space anymore, we are still all amazing students and humans, and we want to show each other still the same amount of respect that we do in class. Um, so when we're submitting things, if you're having any kind of posts or things like that, there may be kinds of consequences for students that do not meet any of those behavioral considerations or expect expectations. And and if there's any kind of bullying or harassment, that's going to not be tolerated, obviously, in my classroom. Um, but hopefully this should not come up for any of you. You all are great students. Just remember that we're still in a learning environment, even though we're sitting at home. Cool. Quizzing on Google Classroom. We will take quizzes using Google Classroom and Google Forms. We haven't really done that before. It has been a little bit of a learning experience for me as well. So I know it may be a learning experience for you. So since we haven't done Google Classroom quizzes before in this class, um, we're gonna kind of practice with our quiz today. It should be a pretty straightforward quiz. It's just gonna be figuring out how these all work and how you submit your work. So you're always, always gonna only get one attempt to complete your quiz and you are not gonna cheat. Great, we're not cheating, fantastic. We've been past that. At 5 p.m. the day after class, though generally earlier, I will release your scores to you from the quiz. So you are not gonna generally get your scores back right away because I like to have some free response questions on the quizzes, which we will talk about in a moment. So you will get feedback um, when you get the scores released to you um, for both correct and incorrect answers. And then once you get those scores released to you, if you want to do corrections on the quizzes, I will post the quiz correction sheet that I usually use in class and you can, um, fill that out and send that back to me um, for some points back on those quizzes. Okay, so just an example from today's quiz, you'll get one answer. Woo! Uh, so if you don't get this question right, oof, I don't know what to say. So one question you'll be seeing today is all of this work for this class will be dot dot dot. What are these three options? Let's take a second to think. Hmm. Well, it's probably not optional. I think that I'm going to be getting attendance that way. I didn't really mention anything about Google Drive and asking permission. So it's probably going to be a post on Google Classroom. Fantastic. I'm correct. So when you see this, when you get your feedback given back to you, when you get your scores released, you will see the correct answer if you got it right and some feedback. Correct. You listened. You watched the video. Great. Um, so hopefully in the future, this feedback will be a little bit better. 
Um, but there's not too much feedback for this one. Did you watch the video? Yeah, you got it right. Fantastic. If you somehow get the video wrong, you think the work is optional. Ha! <laughs> wrong. Too bad. It will tell you the correct answer down here. Oh, it was posted through Google Classroom. And then it will give you some feedback down here. Oh, you didn't listen or watch the video. How sad. Well, you're going to have to do that again to get this one correct. So you'll get some feedback. Again, this will be better feedback when you actually do the, um, do the actual quizzes. It'll tell you like, hey, if you chose this answer, you definitely forgot to carry the two. If you chose this answer, you forgot that area is negative under the curve when you're integrating. Oh, no. So you'll get some feedback on why that answer is correct or why another answer is more correct than the one you selected. So for free response questions, this is going to be interesting too. Um, in math, you always want to be able to show your work and justify your work. So for these free response questions, I want to also gauge your mastery of not just can you get the right answer, but can you show your work correctly? So for these questions, I recommend that you do your work on a sheet of paper, and then you take a picture of your work uh, using your webcam to upload to Google Classroom uh, and Google Forms. Though you can submit work in any number of ways, uh, images, PDFs, documents, etc. cetera. Um, you can do it however you want to. I just recommend taking the picture. I think it's the easiest. If you have a better way, feel free. Remember that all the work goes through Google Classroom, so do not email me any screenshots of your work. It won't be graded. It won't be graded and you'll not get a good score. How sad. So you want to make sure that you are uploading all of your answers to Google Classroom. If you are having issues with that, that's why we have this first quiz um, to work through in order to kind of get through any bugs that you may be having. So make sure if you have any issues that you come by in office hours, we can hopefully work that out. You will also get feedback generally on these free response questions as well. I want to give you feedback as much as possible since I can't be there in person. So I have uh, to make sure that I can give you some good feedback uh, online. So this will take some time. That's why I say like, give me at least till 5 p.m. the next day to give you some feedback because I want to go through on those free response questions saying like, hey, like you forgot, you added instead of subtracted. You didn't do this, so I can give you some more individualized feedback for what necessarily went wrong on your work specifically. I got a lot of students. Give me some time, please, and understand that. Great. So just for closing then, uh, we'll have a quiz that is attached also to this Google uh, Classroom post. Uh, try out this new way of quizzing. Make sure everything works for you. Um, there's multiple choice questions. There is a free response question where you need to upload your work. So I want to make sure that that form works and that you understand how to submit your class work there. Again, not via email to me, everything through Google Classroom. If you've got questions, I'll be online from 930 to 1130 just answering email, not live. That's just answering email stuff. Uh, if you just have a quick question or I will have office hours live from 2.45 to 3.45 p.m. Remember, for you guys, your work is not due until 8 a.m. on Monday for Friday classes. So you will be able to come by for this hour. I will be live, be able to answer your questions. Um, just make sure that when you do log in, there may be a lot of people that have questions. Um, we're going to work through those quickly, and hopefully together we will conquer math. Uh, lastly, then, just have a great day and welcome to virtual learning. I look forward to seeing you in class uh, next week on Wednesday when we really get back into content for pre-calculus and AP calculus. Thanks. Have a great day. See you guys next week.